again good day everyone and welcome back to our channel so this time i will be discussing a method of integration known as reciprocal substitution now just like in algebraic substitution a reciprocal substitution is a method of integration which is applicable to irrational integrants the substitu substitution is easy to recall so just consider the following substitution where our x if the variable of integration is x can be replaced with the reciprocal of z or 1 over z the differential in x is equal to the negative of the differential of z over z squared okay now if we are given a problem like this where we are asked to integrate so we have the integral of a dx over x squared times a quantity 4 plus x to the fourth power raised to a power of 3 fourth. So using the reciprocal substitution, I have to substitute what is indicated above. Our x can be replaced with 1 over z. So our differential in x is equal to negative of the dz over z squared. Okay, so apply the substitution so in our given the differential in x is replaced with the negative dz over z squared as indicated here and if this is x squared so our x is 1 over z so you can take also a square of this that is why we have 1 over z squared now the quantity 4 plus x to the fourth power so that can be replaced with 1 over z raised to the third power. So that's equivalent to 1 over z to the third power. This is raised entirely to a power of 3 fourth as in the given. Now z squared can be removed no? when we have to simplify this. Now in the second factor of the denominator side, so we have a fractional term. So usually we have to simplify by combining this as one fraction. So I can take the LCD of z to the fourth power. So divide with 1 and multiply with 4. That is why we have 4 z to the fourth power plus 1. And this is raised to the power of 3 fourth. Now in the law of exponent, I can raise the numerator and the denominator side separately with a power of 3 fourth as their common power. So we have 4 z to the fourth power plus 1 raised to the power of 3 fourth. And we also have z to the fourth power raised to a power of 3 fourth. But this can be simplified. I can remove 4. So this becomes z cube. And I can bring this up to get where the differential of z. So we have z cube dz. And our denominator is 4 z to the fourth power plus 1 raised to a power of 3 fourth. Now if we have to look at this, our denominator is in fourth degree. While I have a factor of the differential in z, which is in cube. Okay, so if I'm going to take this as our u and differentiate, then its differential will involve a z cube dz. And this is containing power, 3 fourths of it may be possible that I, uh, that I can uh, use the power rule of integration. So I need to rewrite. Okay, so this can be written as an expression to contain a negative 3 fourth exponent under the law of exponent and we have z cube dz so before using the power rule of integration basically so we need to have an exact du when our given is not provided with a perfect du okay so our u is the base and that is 4 z to the fourth power plus 1 what is its differential differentiating this will give you 16 z cube dz okay now our expression here is actually or our integrand here is lacking a constant factor of 16 a point speak but it says this is only constant so we can provide that constant here we can insert however we need a neutralizing factor outside which is a reciprocal of 16 and this is the result so we have minus 1 over 16 before the integral sign because of the constant 16 which is inserted there. So if this is our u and this is our n, 
So this is our du also. So this is u to power in du form. So according to formula of integration under a power rule, so we can increase the exponent by 1. So if minus 3 fourth is added by 1, so we have 1 fourth. So this is u to power in plus 1 form. So this is 1 fourth. And then this is also our in plus 1. Please in the denominator according to formula. So if this is simplified, 1 over 16 divided by 1 fourth, that gives us 1 fourth. Okay, so this is a negative 1 fourth because this is negative. And it's multiplied with a fourth rod of 4 z to the fourth power plus 1. Now, our answer will be expressed in terms of the original variable. So to restore our x, our dummy variable z will be replaced with a reciprocal of x also. Or z is equal to 1 over x. Okay, so we again substitute to this resulting integral. So we have a negative 1 fourth. So z to the fourth power will become 1 over x to the fourth power plus 1. Then entirely raised to a power of 1 fourth. Okay, now since we have a fraction, we can combine this as one fraction. x to the fourth power as the LCD. So divide with x to the fourth power, we have 4 is uh, as our first term. Then plus, divide with 1 and multiply with 1. So x to the fourth power as our second term. Now, if I'm going to take a fourth root of my numerator separately with a fourth root of the denominator, which is x to the fourth power also, then I can simplify this being equal to x. So x times 4 in the denominator. So we have a negative fourth root of 4 plus x to the fourth power over 4x plus c as our final answer. Now, just to familiarize on how to work with reciprocal substitution, so we have additional example. This is also a problem that involves a rational integrand. And again, we can recall the substitution in the reciprocal substitution where x can be replaced with the reciprocal of z. dx will be changed to a negative dz over z squared. Okay, and substitute to the given. Numerator, according to this, is the negative dz over z squared. Okay, so this is the numerator. If I have x in the denominator here, then that can also be changed to 1 over z. The square root of 4x, so 4x becomes 4 over z. x squared becomes 1 over z squared. Okay, so you have to simplify this again. So we have two fraction or fractional terms. I take the LCD of z squared, correct? So z squared divided by z is equal to z. So we have 4 times z minus 1, okay? So take the square root of the numerator separately with the square root of z squared. So this is a perfect square. So I can simplify this as z. So this is z squared all in all. So I can simplify by removing this two. Okay. So what is left is the negative integral of dz over the square root of 4z minus 1. Now in order to use a power rule of integration, so instead of having a radical, so I change it in terms of fractional power equivalent to this. And then I apply the law of exponent, changing the power to its opposite. So this is negative 1 half as a power of 4z minus 1. Now, if we're going to let this base as our u to use a power rule of integration, then I need to have a perfect du. So if our u is 4z minus 1, the du of which is 4dz, correct? So this is lacking again if we inspect. So this is lacking with a constant factor of 4. If 4 is inserted, then it is also needed to neutralize it with its reciprocal. So I have to provide with 1 fourth outside. And this is the result. This is now ready for integration. Under what form? The integral of u. So the negative 1 half is our n. And this is our du. So in u to power n du, what's the integral? That can be u to power n plus 1 over n plus 1. So this is now the result following the formula of integration under the power rule of integration. So we have this as the result.
Okay? Now, 1 fourth divided by 1 half. So, for your constant coefficient, we have 1 half or a negative 1 half. And we have the square root of 4 z minus 1. So, to give our final answer, so we need our answer to be expressed in terms of the original variable x. So, z will be replaced again with a reciprocal of x. Or c, 1 over x is equal to z. So, I can go back here. Replace our z with 1 over x. Okay, so this is the result. So negative 1 half, and we have the square root of 4 over x. And that is subtracted with 1. Again, we have a fraction. I can combine with negative 1. So take the LCD of x. Okay, so this is the result. So x divided by x is 1 times 4. So it's 4. Then minus, because if the, de if the denominator here is 1, x divided by 1 is x times 1. So that's why I have x. Okay? So it's a negative 1 half square root of 4 minus x over x. But usually, our answer will not be written as this because our radicand is fractional. So we can simplify this further by rationalizing our denominator. So in order to produce a perfect square, expression in our denominator, so I can multiply with x both sides. So x both sides are provided. So this becomes x squared and I can take the square root of x squared wherein the result of which is x later. So your numerator or our numerator can be obtained by distributing x. So we have 4x and minus x squared. So this is now the final answer. So we have a negative square root of 4x minus x squared over 2x plus c as our answer. Okay, so that is reciprocal substitution and I hope you were able to follow. Okay, so thank you for watching and I hope you will also subscribe if you are new to our channel. Okay, so good day everyone and bye-bye.